Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So we're in Tipperary and we're actually at, just behind me there, a Quaker burial ground and it was opened in 1738. Now it says there's about 170 burials just inside here, all kind of more or less the same stone, the same size. And as we know, the Quakers are they're kind of more known now as the Friends, the Quakers Society or the Friends Society. Um, we're very kind of they're a very lovely community and they are a lovely community and they believe that no one was better than anyone else in life. Uh, they lived simple lives. They still do. And uh, I have a few of these Quaker burial grounds on my channel. So we're going to go in now and have a look. So the name of this Quaker burial ground is called Gara Nalive. Now I know they did do some uh, restoration work. I believe that the wall actually collapsed at one stage, but you can already see very, very similar stones. And we can also see these burial mounds, which we've often seen before in the past. So as I said, simple lives, simple burials. This is our first stone here. And this is Elizabeth. Anna Jellyu, it looks like J E L L I O O E, uh, June 1926, wife of John. So that's her first stone, guys. Um, I'm not sure, it will actually probably pick up. These are the burial mounds that we talk of. So they would have no um, headstones, just completely buried very simply oh this is the husband i'd say is it or the son of uh, elizabeth that's just there it says john i'm going to get the name wrong i think it looks like jelly jelly lou uh, died the 8th of june 1916 son of samuel so i wonder are they related i don't think it's the son of elizabeth and john because it says the son of samuel but i bet you will notice as well as we go around that a lot of these names are very, very similar. Now we have a lot of burial mounds up here, but uh, this says Samuel, and it's the same name. J-E-L-L-I, this, no, this looks like slightly different, Jella Cool or something it looks like, age 79. This is Samuel, 1877. So just look at all those burial mounds. This is actually in a really, really beautiful area. I'm already seeing um, little signs of spring all around there under those trees. We have little sprouts. I think they're daffodils. This is Richard. Not sure of the surname. Steven Stevenson, I think it is. Born 1867, died 1886. So very young there. Now we have to watch where we're walking specifically. We've no carvings here to show us where they're buried, but there are those burial mounds. Memory of Thomas. Uh, going, it looks like. Of Car or Care, I should get that name right. Charles, 1800, 1872. This is Maria Stevenson, daughter of William and Martha Matilda Kong, it looks like, 1822 to 1864. We have William here, 1795 to 1871. And we have Martha, 1803 to 1846. This stone has fallen, unfortunately. 1826 to 1842 on that one. So you can see guys, very simple headstones for them all. And you can see all of those burial mounds. And uh, we were blessed today with a beautiful, fresh morning.
but just have a look at the whole area so you can see that they have done extensive work here i think um, they said outside on the information fennel is the family name that's mostly buried here well, we haven't found any fennels yet let me go up here along this line There's the fennels now. Mary William Fennel, 1900s, age 72. We've Joshua, looks like 1905, aged 83. We've Annette here, Fennel, 1890, age 64. Susanna Fennel, 1889, age 71. Look at this, what does it say? Died 6th of the 7th month, 1889, age 71. So you can see even the writing is quite simple. This is William Fennel, 1868, age 52. We have Elizabeth here, 1865, age 34. The writing holds up very well. It does actually, yeah. yeah. Look at this one, Susanna Fennel, wife of William Fennel. Died the 6th of the 12th month, 1866, age 74. And then William is beside her, 1846, age 71. Um, see the, the line of yew trees? You often see that as well. I know we see them in cemeteries, but you will often see them as well in Quaker burial grounds. We have some uh, a famous kind of connection in a Quaker burial in County Wexford, in Glyn, or in Clorne, sorry, in County Wexford. Um, he went to Philadelphia and he mapped out some of the, the maps of Philadelphia. William Penn. Uh, a William Penn, Quaker William Penn. Uh, this is Fennel here as well. Evelyn, it looks like. Of Cottage something son of George and Elizabeth. So it's not, I thought it said Eleanor. What is the name then? Evelyn, is it? No, it's Clewellyn. Uh, Clewellyn. So that's a Welsh. Welsh. Clewellyn Fennel of Cottage. What's that last name behind Cottage? Care. Cottage Care. Son of George and Eliza Fennel, 1826 to 1897. So that name there is actually Clewellyn. So a very welsh name there Beautiful place. this is just i mean we always say that anyway when you come to a quaker burial ground i'm not sure whether it's the simplicity of it or the fact that they were such and are such a beautiful community that it is just um it's just a joy to have been able to find one all the way down in tipperary and it's actually snowdrops that are scattered you can see them all coming there um, and there's more. I think the ones down at the door, or down at the door, down at the gate, I should say, sorry, are daffodils. But this is the first signs of spring in Ireland are these snowdrops. And I absolutely adore them. And it seems quite fitting that our first little sprouts are here in a Quaker burial ground. Now, this headstone is quite interesting. You can see it's kind of like embossed. So it stands out in memory of Mary Hammer, Hammersley Palm, wife of George, daughter of Alex and, sorry, Alexander. Um, what does that say? Going, Going yeah. Born October 1860 something and died 1943. 1943. George Mary Palmer. Palmer. Yeah. yeah and going now um there's another one here it's quite similar i just don't want to walk on the snowdrops in memory of william henry going of al a al tavila car care sorry i keep saying care car care <laughs> son of um alexander and william oh no it's wilhelmina going he died in 1944 and this one is similar again 
kind of this 3D, um, this is 1927, wife of William Henry, in memory of Ida. Now I haven't found the oldest stone here. Um, it did say that it is very hard to read it, the inscription on it. Um, so it may be just that we can't see the inscription anymore. But I believe it was 1798 maybe. That's 1886. Or it could be that the headstone is, is gone altogether. But once again, just have a look at that. I wonder could I try and fix the headstone. I wouldn't actually touch the headstone for fear that maybe more damage would be done. And I, I mean, they are coming here to tend to this place. It is really, really well cared for. It's really, really clean. I've noticed as well that they have taken um, some trees down. I would just be interested to find this oldest stone, but I don't think we're going to. There's that, not that many here to see. That's 1814. And we've read the ones up at the top. So I don't think we've really missed any as such. Um, Emma Louisa Fennell died 1913, aged 32 years and 11 months. So I'm just not sure where that... Uh, oldest stone and possibly the first burial here um, I believe it was 1798 or 1738 um, I'll put the correct date on the screen so a few people have kind of you know queried about the, the Quaker burial grounds and I haven't done one for a long long time they are quite hard to find some of them or most of them um, unfortunately, the ones that we have found in the past um, were completely overgrown, completely forgotten, which is uh, really, really sad. But this one, as I said, is extremely well cared for. An absolutely beautiful place. Right, so guys, a very short stop. Um, in this beautiful Quaker burial ground here in Tipperary. And uh, as I said, it's always a joy uh, to be able to visit here and read some of the headstones. We didn't find the oldest one. Um, it's possibly not here anymore um, because we did read more or less all of them, or at least I've glanced at some of them. But um, from here now, we are going to go on to another place uh, for another video. But for now, guys, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you all soon.